The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop, Buck Rail Air Gun Accessories, and Baker Air Guns. You'll find links to these and more in the descriptions down below. Hey, welcome back down to the range, guys. Got a shorter video for you. I have been uh, wanting to do this for a long time. I'll be the first to admit, I am no Rick Reams. I've got a Wooks axe down there, and I've always wanted to try splitting some pellets. You know, part of air gunning is not just getting out there and hunting and shooting, and it's also about challenging yourself a little bit. So I wanted to challenge myself. I got the Benjamin Bulldog 357. I got the Wooks AX1 down there. Really nice, high quality axe. I'm really hoping I don't destroy it because, well, I'm, I'm hoping to keep it and use it when I'm out camping and so forth. But hey, they were kind enough to send it to me to do this challenge. So I'm going to be uh, shooting a really nice axe. Uh, so, what have I got down there? 25 yards, 357 Benjamin Bulldog using the JSB 35 caliber Diablo pellets. Let's see if we can split a pellet though. I did this once already, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to put that film here, but you'll notice you can't see the impacts very well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to that film for a second, actually, so you can see it right now. All right, so hopefully you can see the target down there. About 30 yards, I want to say. I didn't measure it exactly. Um, one of the other things that's really going to be helpful on this, you probably have noticed this bench I'm shooting on. This is a portable bench by Stuky Bench Company, and you really get a lot of stability out of this. I think it's the most stable bench I've actually ever shot from, uh, including some of those wood benches that I made, those homemade projects. This thing is killer. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, I got a link right up, well, somewhere up in there that's gonna take you to a video I did explaining this bench. But let's get down there and let's shoot and see what we got. I'm gonna take a test shot first, just to make sure I am hitting what I'm aiming at. Um, but yeah, so there's a swinger off to the right down here. You're probably not going to be able to see it on camera, but that's what I'm going to hit or aim at. <clears throat> yeah, dead center. <sighs> All right, here we go. I, you know, guys, the company Wokes was... I think I'm saying that right, Wokes, W-O-O-X, was kind enough to send me this ax and I feel kind of guilty shooting it. But uh, I'll talk about this, or as I talked about this earlier, I should say it's a pretty kick ass ax. Um, but you know what, I promised that I would split a pellet on it and I also promised I'd use the Bulldog 357. So, gotta live up to my promises. Hopefully it doesn't destroy it. Here we go. Now I should say down there, I got some black paper on there. We should see on either side of it, either some splatter marks or something that will indicate that I split the pellet. So I mean, it's getting dark out here. See it down there. <clears throat> Make sure I'm lined up just right. Say a little bit. So one of the nice things about this uh, Athlon scope, the glass is really, really nice. So I can kind of see really where if I'm lined up or not. Here we go. Oh, I did it. I did it. I first try down there. And the cool part is that ax is so dang sharp. I don't know if you noticed this, but I put a pellet on top of the ax and it split that pellet, uh, the pellet I shot and the pellet that was sitting on top of the ax, is still chilling there. Let's walk this down. I'm gonna walk this camera down so you can see. Nothing messing around here. It's gonna be blurry right here, guys. I gotta get, uh, get it all focused in. Let's see what we got. All right. Now I did shoot just a little bit to the left there. But see the pellet sitting right on top there? Let's get it focused. There it is. Definitely 
split the pellet on that. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, you can't really see the impact as well, but now I've got the scope cam on, got some other cameras down there at different angles, so hopefully you'll be able to see the impact better, and hopefully I can get it done again. So, got it all loaded, ready to go, 357, cocked, ready to roll. I hate doing this, man, because I don't want to destroy some nice equipment. But, you YouTubers back home, all my friends out there in the air gunning world, you guys want to see it done, and I want to try it again. So here we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can't cut some lead with the Benjamin Bulldog. <laughs> there it was. Look at that. We've got a split pell. We got one impact point there, an impact point there. I mean, that axe cut that thing like butter. You hit it right on the edge, split that pellet straight down the middle, and there we go. Got a hit on both sides of the target, exactly what I was hoping to do. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Go out there, be safe about it, but go have some fun. Try doing some different challenges like that. I can't say enough about this Benjamin Bulldog 357, that Wooks axe or hatchet down there, the AX1. Check out links down below. Until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, those pellets fly straight, and we'll see you right here on the Airgun Advisor. <laughs> Let's do that again.